So these, like I said, all of the building materials, unfortunately, are some of Mold's favorite foods, especially behind stuff. Uh, wallpaper, for one, because we're using a glue and it's wet behind there, especially when it gets wet, it takes a long time to drop. If anybody's ever put up wallpaper, it's kind of annoying to put up and line the whole thing up and you have to wait for it to dry and put a fan on it. So if people don't let that stuff dry fast enough, mold can grow behind there within 48 hours. And then we don't see it for a long time because some of those coverings are vinyl and it takes a really long time for the mold to get through. So we want to make sure things are dried out. Even simple things like apartment turnover. When we have wet carpets or we're shampooing carpets, and this has probably happened to you guys in buildings where somebody comes in, does apartment turnover, closes the window, shuts the door, leaves. And then you go to show the apartment and then the whole place reeks of mold because we didn't allow it to dry out. Again, integrating things like this into our daily operating plan. These are all, what we're talking about here today is not new technology, it's not new ideas. These are things that we should be doing normally uh, and that should be integrated, especially with super and maintenance staff, our boots on the ground. This has to be the, the immediate and normal reaction that they have.